All right, each of these has uh, a tricky little angle. Angle two here happens to be the one that's a little bit tricky. I think angle three and angle one come quite naturally. What I would say to you, I think um, the best way to um, go about getting angle two is if you can solve for all of the angles in this triangle, then um, you will find that if you can get all of those angles, this angle in this corner is a vertical angle to angle two and should be fairly easy to find. Uh, that's one way to do it anyways. The guy that's also kind of tricky uh, in this other one is uh, angle two. Now there's a couple of ways to go about this. Maybe I'll, I'll try and give you a hint on either one and you can kind of pick what you like. Um, I think you can find this arc right here pretty easily. Uh, there's an inscribed angle uh, that uh, is, will help you with that. And then I want you to notice that this is a diameter. And if you know that diameter, then you can find this arc. And guess what? Angle 2 is inscribed on that arc. Now it's hard to see that as an inscribed, but that's exactly what it is. Um, let me show you another uh, thought about uh, solving for that one. This angle here also is inscribed. Uh, there it is. And it's inscribed on a diameter. So again, I think you know how big the arc is here. And you should be able to use that to find this angle in this corner. And then once you have that angle, angle 2 is not hard to find as well. It's one thing I do like uh, about the circle problems is they are often done in multiple ways. But I will say that the key here is that angle 2 is an inscribed angle. And, uh, oops, and there it is. It's inscribed there on the circle. And we should be able to find that angle if you can find me this arc. And that arc's not too bad to find. Good luck with that.